Yeah, just you know, be be normal. I want to stick it out. And that's it. Okay, take off everything. And we'll go to the other side. Let's do the same on this side. Now you've had mineral oil injected, is that correct? Yes. That was dumb. Sorry, Corey. I uh, know. <laughs> Don't remind me, dog. <laughs> But this is not going to kill me, already. The problem with it, putting mineral oil in, it's not sterile, and it can be very nasty. I mean, it could have killed you, so you got lucky. You good? Okay. So then I'm going to be super fine when I finish. Yeah, well, you're going to have a narrow waist, and the belly's going to be flatter. So, <laughs> so you're not going to call me super fine, dog? Yeah, yeah we'll I'll call you super fine in a few. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Jennifer's going to take you in, okay. and I'll be right in. We're going to get your blood pressure and put an IV just for safety. Okay. You'll be fine. Really, I promise. Okay. Over the past decade, Americans across the country have become obsessed with ballooning their butts. Nowhere in the States is the trend more pervasive than in Miami, where procedures like the Brazilian butt lift are advertised on billboards, and you find yourself walking behind people and wondering, is that ass for real? Unfortunately, the insatiable desire to get a bigger booty has also created a butt injection black market. Injecting one's cheeks with substances like silicone and mineral oil requires little to no recovery time and is cheaper than traditional butt augmentation performed by board-certified plastic surgeons. The use of silicone injections to increase the size of one's assets is nothing new. The practice dates back to World War II when the synthetic compound was first mass-produced as a transformer fluid. On the docks of Yokohama in Japan, American Army quartermasters discovered that local prostitutes were stealing the transformer fluid and injecting it directly into their boobs to get bigger and fuller breasts. This trend of injecting silicone spread throughout the U.S. After well-publicized horror stories and federal and state bans in the 70s, silicone injections went underground, where it was adopted by the trans community. Today, injections are a clandestine activity taking place all over the country in homes, hotels, and even spas. In Florida, the charge of practicing medicine without a license is a third degree felony, and if it causes bodily harm, it raises it to a second degree felony. My name is Brian Tutler. I'm a homicide detective with the Broward County Sheriff's Office. Prior to working in the homicide unit, I worked in the violent crimes unit, and that was how I became involved in the cases involving O'Neill Morris. O'Neill Ron Morris, a transgender woman known as the Duchess, pled guilty last fall in Miami-Dade County for pumping unknown substances into rear ends, which caused at least two women to suffer serious health issues. The Duchess also faces charges in Broward County, including manslaughter, after one of her patients allegedly died as a result of the toxic tush injections. O'Neill Morris at this time in Broward County is facing three counts on three separate victims for practicing medicine without a license. And then there is also a manslaughter charge. Somebody did pass away. These are the Broward County mugshots. I'm mm -hmm. not sure about other jurisdictions, but you can see for yourself the progressive changes throughout the photographs. Do you know by any chance if the, the issues with the skin is something related to the, the, the work he's done on himself? I can't speculate. It's hard to, um, to say. You know, part of the investigation was the longer these substances are inside of the body, you know, that's when the effects start to show. Right. So, you, you see know, again, the, years. the injuries that are suffered from these procedures are very, very debilitating and something that you would not want to put upon yourself. Mm -hmm. These substances have been entered into the body and there's no way to get them out. If you were able to jump three years forward and see what your body would go through, I don't think that you would go through with it. I'm not comfortable with my body. I'm not comfortable with my husband. See the color and shape. Yeah, it's hard. We went to Coral Gables to meet Oscarina Busi, a 35-year-old salon owner who received black market butt injections at a local spa in 2009. Shortly after, things went south. I put silicone injections for my butt, make it full, but I have the reaction. What was it like? Did they use a, like a syringe to pump it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you feel it go in, the, the fluid? You feel the volume. Really, so you feel yeah, it? Yeah, you feel, you feel like it. Big, your butt expand. Big. How did they seal it? I think put crazy glue. Crazy yeah, glue? Crazy glue. Mm -hmm. Where was the point 
where you saw this thing go right? Six months after, change the skin color, like purple, and the skin is like an onion. Mm, it peeled. Yes, and maybe eight months, I have the product down. So it fell? Fell. Gotcha. Like, like looked like a pamper, full. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, no. And it's so, terrible. Mm -hmm. So it fell, it fell into the, the cheeks, right? Like the, the cheeks were longer? Yes. Before you did the injections, were you self-conscious about your about your butt? I'm Dominican. I'm not flat. Right. And that's the problem. Mm -hmm. You're never happy with your body. But I want something like a shape, Brazilian shape, mm -hmm. you know? But it's fancy shape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much did it cost? Three thousand. Three thousand. Did it look good right away when you when you got the injections? Were you very happy with it initially? Yes. Mm -hmm. But one day I tried to see in the mirror and not look good. And I have the friend, I say, can you check this and tell me the truth? When I see her face, she says, that's terrible. And the friend told me the only person I think removed this is Mendieta because he do for somebody she knows. And Dr. Constantino Mendieta is a Miami-based plastic surgeon specializing in the butt. Despite the complications of Oscarina's condition, he agreed to remove the product that had been injected inside her and reconstruct her booty. I started to get a lot of people that were coming to me to help them with these disfigurements that they have in their buttock. It could be silicone, car oil, fix a flat. There's absolutely no way to tell after the fact. I am Dr. Constantino Mendieta, a board certified plastic surgeon practicing in Miami, Florida, the heart of Botropolis. Was there a moment, like a, a moment where you, you uh, saw- you booty saw, moment? Yeah, like a booty moment. You're like, yo, I want to focus on the booties. I was more of a leg guy, but then the legs come up and they got to end on something, right? right? And so I found the ending of the legs and mm -hmm. I said, my God, this is unbelievable. And I've dedicated almost 80% of my practice to reconstructing booties in America. Mm -hmm. So we start off with the buttock and then what happens is I take my little magic tool and my eraser and what I start to do is that I start to erase away. Oh, it's like Photoshop, but for... Yes, but for the booty. Yeah, yeah. So I start to add some fat where it needs to be added. What is the key ingredient to all this? There's four shapes around the world of butts. The A shape, which is the prettiest. Square shape, there's the V shape, and then there's the round shape. The most important thing is the ratio of 0 0.7, right? It's a smaller waist to a little bit of a bigger hip, mm -hmm. but there are cultures that have different styles or interests. If you take the Latin woman, she likes to have more of a heart shape, like a Jennifer Lopez. The Caucasian woman tends to like the Jessica Biel. Mm -hmm. The African Americans tend to like it big. They like a small waist and a big booty. And they like more of a shelf, mm -hmm. where there is more fullness up on top. There's three different ways that you can enhance the buttock, but you gotta remember that it's not just about making it bigger, it's about making it shapelier and prettier. Right. Uh, number one is to use your own body fat. McDonald's has helped us create this fat farm. Fat is amazing. The next way to do it is by using implants, but implants are only gonna make it bigger. And then the third way, the underground black market injections of who knows what, people are so interested in getting their buttock done that they'll turn to any measure to do it. When is the first time you heard about the underground business? That's, that's been around for a while. I mean, it's been around for many, many years, but it's really taken on an explosive path I'd say over the last five to 10 years. Now we're starting to see all the complications. Why is that? Because when they inject something, a substance, which we don't know what, it's, what they're injecting, it doesn't react right away. In the beginning, it'll look great. I mean, you'll look really nice, and that's what motivates people to get it done. It's a quick recovery. You've got an instant booty. But the problem is that five to 10 years, that's where the product starts to react. And when it starts to react, it destroys the butt. You will never get the butt that you had before back. I mean, this is really not easy on the eyes. This is beyond black market. Mm -hmm. This is way underground, and this is who knows what they've injected in these people, but take a look how it's eating up and destroying the body. Uh -huh. Many of these patients may die uh, over time because of infections or whatever they're getting. But when you see the, this is pretty gross. Yeah, it's, it's, it's horrible. I mean, this is horrific. absolutely horrific, and um, this is what we have to caution people against. And these are lifetime events. You'll never be able to change to really this. really bring that back. Yeah. Ever. After seeing how much damage a butt injection could do, 
we went to King of Diamonds, Miami's most notorious big booty strip club, to talk to some of the ladies who were willing to gamble their backsides and even their lives in hopes of getting a bigger payday. I did some fat transfer, I did my butt. I spent almost $22,000 on my body. Really, wow. Yes. How much money have you spent on your butt, would you say? My butt, maybe like 5,000. How many girls, would you say like the percentage of girls that have had you know, fat transfer, or butt injections, or silicone butts in, in this club and like in, in the industry? In the, in the... I'll say so far maybe um, 75% to 80%. Have had butt? Yes, because they see the other girls with it and mm -hmm. they, want, they want to have that type of um, attraction and attention right. and they want to make more money. You know, it's like the underground railroad. Right. It's like you tell somebody, they tell somebody, and you know, they gonna call you. And right. I got my butt done on like a Tuesday. I came back on a Friday, and I probably made triple the amount wow. that I spent on my butt back that same day. It was like my money went from like regular stripper to like superior stripper, yeah. really, really quick. What was the process like finding the person to do the injection? Actually, the process was crazy because um, it was a celebrity. Did he pay for it? He just hooked you up with the person? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, listen. He paid for it. <laughs> so I danced with him, and he, you know, was like, yo, this, this, this. And I was like, cool. Did the person act like professionally? Did they wear scrubs? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, because my person was a nurse. And I told him, okay, I don't like needles. Mm -hmm. They was like, okay, I'm going to numb you up. I'm going to put you to sleep. Oh, they put you to sleep? Yeah, they put me to sleep. So I woke up with a booty. Mm -hmm. I went to sleep flat, and I woke up with a butt. That's so I up. was like. <laughs> can I touch your butt to kind of get a vibe? You definitely can. Yeah, I mean, it looks. Looks good. The butts of King of Diamonds looked and felt incredible, but I couldn't really enjoy myself because all I could think about was how mangled their asses might look in five to ten years. But how about if your stuff go right? Then what is Duchess? She a god now? Corey Eubanks, Duchess's former friend and customer, was accused of assisting Duchess in her black market business. Corey denies he was Duchess's assistant, but he did plead guilty to misdemeanor charges and was put on probation. I don't got nervous for real now. Now it's for real. Please knock me out. Hurry up. <laughs> one's for nausea, one's for pain. I'm probably going to need a, a lot for pain. All right. So what I'm going to have you do is come in the back. We're going to change into some sexy underwear. Okay. And then I'll give you some more information, OK? OK. Nearly a decade after he got his butt shots from Duchess, Corey is still attempting to get the perfect body. We met him when he was about to go under the knife again, this time for liposuction. Everyone that does it gets addicted. It's, a, it's an addiction where you say, now I can fix this, now I can fix that, now I can change this a little. Think about how good you're gonna look. Yeah, I'm ready for that part. Think about that. Okay. I actually got it right here, and I, I can put my little pants down. I got it right at the top. So it made my hump a little bigger. Mm -hmm. Duchess just shot the, what I t know to be now is mineral oil. Dollar 68 in the grocery store. Mineral oil, regular mineral oil. Mm -hmm. Do you still have that in, in, in your butt now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Touch your top. Oh yeah, it's pretty, pretty hard. I don't think those people are honest with telling you what they use mm -hmm. just because it's probably a cheap substance. Like, mm -hmm. $1.68 mineral oil. How many people do you think you refer to Duchess over the years? Probably about 25. Mm -hmm. And you never received any any kind of kickback from Duchess? Like, hey, thanks for hook, hooking me. No, mm -hmm. I wasn't looking for that. I think it's still easier for some people to go to the underground doctors because they pay less than coming up with thousands of dollars. But I'm sure fat transfer made the illegal business go down because people now see that they can save their money to get that rather than spend it on something that's right. really not safe for you. People want to look better, faster, and for less money than it would take if they did it legitimately. So that's just how our culture is nowadays. 
You want things done fast, you want them done now, and you don't really think about the consequences. How did you feel when, when the doctor said that, you know, potentially mineral oil could have killed you? When I first did it, I was terrified. Mm -hmm. I was like, why, why, why should I be one of the ones that get messed up? Mm -hmm. Again, it was just a risk I take it. And there was so many people that I, I know that had good outcomes. Mm -hmm. The people that had bad outcomes, I didn't know them. I heard about them. Mm -hmm. I knew it from the beginning. I wasn't, I wasn't fooled. I just, I just felt like, just like the rest of them, I'm sure, that I'm, I'm, there's nothing gonna happen. Everything's gonna go smooth. I'm gonna be fine, and that's gonna be it. I knew I was a crazy fool.